We really want to introduce Chinese culture to Americans, but with respect of American culture too. Peggy Chung is perhaps the most financially successful woman to ever serve up Chinese culture for American tastes. She and her husband Andrew are billionaires as the co-CEOs of their privately held restaurant chain, Panda Express. As Chinese immigrants, they've always known their market. We tend to understand their American palate. Do not like to have bone. If everything is deboned. Oh, no bones. No bones, yeah. Which means serving food that falls into this long, long history of westernizing traditional Chinese food. So we call ourselves American Chinese food. Their latest American Chinese dish is General Tso's chicken. Come on up and get some samples. But what's far more interesting here is that even though Peggy's a self-made billionaire, she never dreamed of being a restaurateur. How did you come to be running a restaurant group? I was always say that I married to her. Peggy was born in Burma and grew up in Hong Kong. She moved to the U.S. for university, which is where she met Andrew, also an immigrant. Panda Express actually started as a sit-down restaurant, Panda Inn which Andrew opened with his father, who was a master chef, at a crucial turning point in Chinese-U.S. history. Uh, we opened Panda Inn in 1973, our first restaurant in Pasadena. That's the year that President Johnson visited China. What's that? It was President Nixon. Oh, President Nixon, yes. I'm sorry. No, I, wanted to, I wanted to catch that. President Nixon, yeah which explains where they got their name. Panda bear become a symbol of friendship between U.S. and China. Very cuddly, animal, friendly, adorable, and we're luckily able to take that into as our name. By the early 80s, malls were expanding across America, and Andrew saw an opportunity to turn his sit-down restaurant into a fast food concept. But he couldn't build it alone. He needed Peggy, who at that time was pursuing a career far away from the world of fortune cookies. Actually, I was working at the aerospace company. Luckily for Panda, Peggy's engineering skills turned out to be the secret ingredient. To go from one restaurant to many, Peggy left her job in aerospace to scale Panda Express. So every 100 store mark is a huge change, but then you really need a structure, uh, you need a system. But building Panda, had its sacrifices. Was it easy for you to leave a career in engineering? No. I always still say to myself that I love to be an inventor someday. Nothing is easy, but I think it all depends on how dedicated you are. Why were you so dedicated then? That's actually a tough question. <laughs> um, I think a special engineer, we train to get everything done in the best way we can. 